Hi guys, welcome to another process video here at my YouTube channel. Let me tell you guys, I didn't realize how much time these took when I first started making them. It's obviously not the filming, but dang has the editing been taking me a while. So I hope you're enjoying them. This is a layout I made with the very end of my Felicity Jane summer kit. I believe that was either May or June. Um, I'm not in my craft space to check at the moment. You saw me fiddling around with which picture I was going to use. This is a picture I took of us on Father's Day. We went to a different park than we normally do. We have one within uh, walking distance of our house, but this one is rather large. It has a zip line, swings, three different climbing areas. Um, I don't know what it's called, but it's they also have like a skate park, but it's for your bike instead of skateboards. So we went and spent some time there. And I can tell you in this video, you'll see why this is the last layout I created with the kit. Because I just, I hemmed and hawed about every little detail. And I have figured out that when it takes me forever to decide what my embellishments are going to be or how I'm going to do something, that I'm probably done with the kit. For example, I know this video is only 12 minutes, but this layout probably took me two days because I sat and looked at it and I walked away and I, I moved this little thing. and So I didn't record all of that. I just recorded the main process. But when I do that or when I have to do what I call phone a friend, um, the kit is done. The other day I finished a kit I've had since 2015 and I did the majority of the layout and then I called my friend Stacia and I sent her a picture and I said I don't like this layout why and we went back and forth with what I had left in the kit and that's what I figured out I would I was done with the kit this kit I had this is my eighth layout and that one it was my fifth so that's my tip, I guess, <laughs> is if you are struggling to finish a kit up and get those last little pieces out, maybe that kit is done for you and it's time to incorporate those pieces into your stash. So I really, really wanted the title of this layout to be Summer Fun, but I could never get that fun to fit the way I wanted it to. And I also wanted to use that, the story, because I was going to, you know, write the little story of it being Father's Day and what this park has that, you know, the one local to us doesn't. I end up taking it off, though, because it just wasn't, it didn't pop enough since the circle was white. And I end up putting um, that happy little moments in the blank spot of the photo. I don't usually feel the need to fill the blank spots of the photo or I don't let's say I don't actively try to fill the blank spots of the photo unless I'm like oh okay cute embellishment and go there but on this particular photo since it was um, a selfie and you know I was trying to get my husband in there because he's so much taller than all of the rest of us that spot was a little discolored uh, from the, the bright sun and um, some reflection from the playground equipment. So that worked out perfectly. So I'm going to start gluing the things I know I'm going to use down. So they stop shifting around and I can get a better look at what, what space I have left. I'm not going to make you watch all of that since it is several layers. Um... And I guess I could have cut small strips out of there to make that paper go even farther. But after eight layouts, I was okay with just, you know, finishing this up and using these pieces. So 
I'm using my best glue ever to stick the things down to the photo. I find that it seems to hold the items on the photo better than just my ATG gun. And I am going to end up using that doily, even though I do <laughs> I pull it on and pull it off and put it on, pull it off and put it on. I do end up using it just to soften the edges to make it not so so straight it was just it it needed something kind of coming over all those lines so I'm still trying to work with that summer fun and there you'll see I guess I forgot to hit record when I came back after taking a break I think I think nap time was over and this is the next day so, like I said, to soften those things up, I'm going to use some tissue paper. I know it's white on white. My, my purpose wasn't necessarily to add another color. It was just to add some of that softness. And in real, real life, it's hard to tell on the camera. You can see that it's, it's very just soft and fluffy around the edges. I do use my HEG. I know some people use um, like a tape roll, uh, like um, score line tape or red line tape. There we go. Red tape, the red line tape or the score tape. I don't have a problem with my ATG on tissue paper, but I would suggest uh, if you're going to try tissue paper, start out with a scrap piece, not the one, not with your photo in case. Um, Yours, your ATG, I, I, I don't know why each one's different, but in case your ATG does t tend to rip the, the tissue paper. Same with a doily. Um, some people have great luck with their ATG just in the middle of the doily like I did, and some people need to use the score tape or liquid glue. So always start with a test piece first if you're using something new that is delicate. And now I'm going to start sticking down those embellishments I picked at the top. Some of them are dimensional. The round circle is a chipboard piece from the kit. And then the rest are die cuts. And what I do is I pop some up and leave some flat so that the layout has all different layers. I think what I end up doing is since the circle piece was dimensional. Those little star bursts that are circles, I make them dimensional as well. My favorite foam dots are the ones from Stampin' Up. I like how thin they are so that if I really wanted height, I could use two, but I don't have, have to. I can use just one thin one. I am going to pop my photo up using the last of the roll of foam tape that I have. I have switched to mainly using fun foam that you get from the kids craft section as it is more readily available and definitely less expensive. So I'm doing really well at using up my stash. I think I've killed eight or nine kits and made, I think, them up to 21 layouts just from those, using up those pieces. So, and I've only been doing this, let's see, July, August, and September. So nine kits in three months isn't bad. I'm really hoping by the end of a year, I'll have made a huge dent in my, my stash also doing a really good job of getting rid of things that just aren't aren't me anymore in my scrappy style. I sold off all my Kiwi Lane templates on eBay and my space is just feeling a whole lot I don't want to say empty, that's not the right word, but just less cluttered. I sold my old Cricut since I hadn't used it in a year. I've done a lot of donating of papers uh, to a homeschool co-op. 
that I, you know, don't use, also to a teacher friend of mine. So this stash busting challenge is really going well for me. If you need any motivation, uh, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to invite you to our group. We are a pretty small group, um, but we did want to keep it relatively small just so we'd be able to get to know each other and um, keep encouraging each other. So I'm almost done here. I decided to just go with the title summer and a few embellishments. I can't even, oh, it's another starburst. I wanted that down at the bottom just to tie in the ones at the top. And then I am going to journal our story. I just used, um, I believe, a Sharpie pen for my journaling. Oh, I'm looking through. That is the case I keep my extra Felicity Jane things in. Like if I have little bits left over from other kits since they do coordinate so well. And I'm just using a few of the leftover puffy uh, triangles to bring in the yellow. So leave me a comment, guys. I will put some still photos up at the end. I'm using a new uh, picture editing software, so have to get used to that. I hope I can get used to it to get the, the pictures pretty accurate since... The camera doesn't always get the colors great. So until next time, guys, stay crafty and let me know what you've been up to. Leave me a comment, and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening to my ramblings, and I'll see you next time. Bye.